All right, to take your slide apart, you want to get your 332nd punch in right between this firing pin and this firing pin sleeve. So right there. You want to push down. Doesn't take a lot of force. And at the same time you're pushing down, use your thumb, slide the rear cover off slowly so none of this stuff pops out. To, there's your firing pin assembly and uh, just in case you need to put this other stuff this should snap in here this should snap on that and then your extractor right here is held in place by this firing pin safety so to get it out you gotta push this firing pin safety in the firing or the extractor will pop out and the firing pin safety and spring will come out this is this is basically held in there just leave it in there that's the easiest way to do it otherwise you'll have to go up from underneath to install it so to put it back you need to push this in hold it down with your thumb so it's depressed and there's a little hole in there that the extractor will fit into and you just kind of once it's in place you just release and now it'll hold itself And that portion is ready to go you don't need to do anything I just showed you that just in case to take this apart you need to that's this is the way I do it grasp and pull your two uh, spring cups and there's your firing pin and spring Alright, so once you have your spring on here, this is how they're going to sit. They're going to sit facing each other and the spring, so the top of this is going to hit this ridge on this firing pin and the top of the spring is going to sit against the inside of that. So what you need is something to brace the back of this firing pin so it doesn't move while you're retracting the spring. You can... This is kind of tricky, but I'm doing this through the viewfinder, so if I can do it, you can do it. Alright, and then just once you have it in there, just release the pressure. Okay, so there's the final product. And uh, one last word is here's the um, junction of those two spring cups. So where it is in relation, the, the spring is fine here. And then if we turn it to the other side... Here's the other junction side, and I like to do it so it's just before the start of this coil, uh, just so that it just seems to me that there would be less chance of separation, but it's never happened, but that's the way I do it. Um, I also make sure that this is just forward of the start of this coil, so that's how I place it. And to reinstall, just slide it in there. And there's our cover plate. So put this on. I just press this down with my finger. And that gets the slide cover plate over halfways. And then what you need to do 
Let's just push this down. And it'll snap in place. So then to test it, you can press your fire and pin safety. So press the fire and pin safety, push, and then it'll snap. You know you did it right. 